Hello, there you turn into the Malacca News. With me, Amirul Ashraf, the headline. A man attacked a woman in MRT station. Malaysia police hijab wearing wrestler by King Bira. Welcome back. Malaysia police has arrested a suspect over the service attack on a woman in the Taman Mutiara and Artist Station Zafadri Osli has the news Thank you for Amiru Now we continue a new in Malaysia A man attacked a woman in MRT Station Petaling Jaya Malaysia police have arrested a suspect over the savage attack on a woman at the Taman Mutiara MRT station in Kuala Lumpur, district of Ceras on February. City Police uh, Chief uh, Datuk Seri Lazim said the suspect was arrested at a house in Taman Ceras at around 8.10 p.m. on Monday. He said the 26 years old suspect will be remanded to help with further investigation under Section 394 of the Penal Cut for Causing Burn While Committing Robbery. During the incident on Valentine's Day, a 48 year old woman suffered multiple injuries, including bruises on her forehead after she was savagely attacked by a robber in a lift at about 6.45 morning. A CCTV recording that went viral shows the woman entering the lift followed by the man who then punched and kicked her repeatedly. The professional wrestler is Malaysia and likely the World first hijab wearing professional wrestler who is the Rocky in the ring, a man dominate Eric. Ashraf Azman has the news. Thanks, Amirul Ashraf from the studio. I'm Ashraf Azman, we are reporting about the uh, entertainment. Earlier this month, Nodiana was named the Malaysia Pro Wrestling My PW. Westcon Championship at the Malaysia Championship Award. The first woman to receive the title championship was beaten for male wrestler and he included a former championship gotten. Since the beginning, it's always hard for me because, uh, you know, I get a lot of people say that I can't wrestle because I'm a Muslim and wears hijab. I love wrestling and I know what I'm capable of and I know I can do wrestling whether in hijab or not. Thanks, Asha Azman, for reporting this. Next, a mother suffering from acute depression drowned her 23-month-old twin in the bath. Zufadri Rosli has the news. Thank you for Amirul. Now we continue to a global news. A mother killed twin, East London. A mother suffering from acute depression Drowned her 23-month-old twin in the 
but following the breakdown of her marriage. Samantha fought 38 killed her children, Jake and Cole, on Boxing Day last year. A few months after her split from their father, Stephen Ford. The old baby her she then tried to take her car into the back of a lorry at an estimate speed of 100 mph. When she was taken to hospital, police attended the address she was renting in Castle Drive, Margate, which they found the two toddlers dead in their bedroom. In a victim impact statement, Mr. Ford said he thought his children would have been terrified, confused, and that they suffered in death. He said this was the most heinous, spiteful act on two innocent children. Thank you, Zufadi, for the good news. Next, Ahmed Ridalbin has a wedding report. Good afternoon. I am Ahmad Ridalbin from Lagda News, and let's take a look at our weather from today. At Johor, it's hot and sunny. It's beautiful outside. Next, Paha mostly cloudy. Next, Terengganu, hot and sunny. The temperature will be at 32 degrees. Kelantan is much cloudy. And Melaka, hot and sunny. The temperature from 31 at to 32 degrees. Next, Selangor mostly cloudy. Belize mostly cloudy. Next, Perak, hot and sunny. It's beautiful outside. Now we go to Sabah and Sarawak. Sarawak hot and sunny. The temperature will be at 31 degrees. And Sabah rainy and stormy. Be careful if you want to go outside. Now we go to International at California. At Esther, California is raining and stormy. Again, I am Mani Dolan from Nakhon News. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Kids wake up with 80% of their energy used up. That's why I only trust Milo to fuel him in the morning. It has ActiveGo, the natural goodness of protomalt, vitamins and minerals, mixed with nutritious milk and cocoa. Bring out his best. Give him nothing less than Milo, so he gets the energy he needs for the day. Milo, energy to go further. Thanks Ahmad for the weather report. Next, Johor Darul Ta'zim. Jordan Tazim Hawk confirmed their win at the 19th July by won a Super League of Malaysia trophy. They won the trophy at the stadium Hadi Hassan Yunus, Lakin. It's the Isaiah has the report. Thank you from studio. Welcome to the home of Southern Tiger. I'm Izzat at Padang Sigalam, Royce JDT football player training their football club. On 19 July, JDT won Super League trophy. This is sixth time they have won this trophy after they have won the game last night. After they won the game last night, they marched from Stadium Tansri Haji Asayunos to the Dataran Johor Bahru.
and back to the studio. With me, I'm your Asha Azumar. Thanks for watching Nailine and take care.